Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Um, today I am going to start a new painting uh, but before I do that I'm going to water the plants in my art room and I need to go searching for a canvas that I can use. Um, I ended up finding one that was used and I don't recall if it was a student of mine, somebody that I tutored, I think, uh, started to do a snow scene and that was the only one that I could find. And so I am going to have to use a cheap tube of white paint to prime it because I didn't have my gesso with me. And so um, I, in place of the gesso, it's this white paint. And I just wanted to cover the previous painting on it. And then I usually lay uh, a color um, on the blank canvas and I usually use burnt sienna for that. It makes me feel like the canvas is not white and scary. Uh, it makes it look like I've already done something to it. It's psychological for sure. Uh, but usually I will use burnt sienna and I usually do all of my sketches with uh, yellow ochre as you are going to be able to see. And in this painting, I am using a reference photograph from a picture that was taken of me like four or five years ago at an art festival here in Atlanta. I loved this picture and I loved the artwork um, that it was, I can't recall the artist's name, but I just remember that they used sawdust uh, to create these reliefs on these boards. And I don't know how they compacted it, but then they paint over it. So it was a relief painting. Beautiful. I wish that I could recall the artist's name. Uh, so I am using this big paddle brush so I could cover as much area as possible. But the funny part is that I went over my hair so many times and um, it just... I went over it and covered it and went over it again. I was playing with the different angles of my arm, uh, of my dress. Uh, I just went over it. And because I did not focus on doing a precise sketch of the figure, I just had to rework it over and over again. So as you continue to watch this video, you're going to see that it is just reworking things over and over again but I figured you know I could actually edit this video and make it look like the whole process was effortless but I really want to share with you guys that it's uh, not that easy for me at this stage uh, I just got back into painting recently so you know I'm out of shape uh, out of practice and I'm hoping that as I do more artwork I will get better and it will be easier. Um, I have been a little bit disappointed in myself because I started this painting, I think it was almost two and a half to three weeks ago, and I kept putting it off. Um, and I had promised myself that I would be really good about working every single day, and life has just gotten in the way, and I have to say that I've just been putting it off because I've been... Um, having some artistic block. I guess that's the only way that I can call it. But I, you know, pushed myself through it and here I am working on this again. So I hope that you enjoy the whole process. And, um, and again, um, there's just so much going over things. So once I get into painting, I get into this zone and all I want to do is paint, but unfortunately, um, I also need to do some school work and I do have to go to work as well. So I have to go to school in between my painting, um, but you know, it's good to take a break too. So I'm just doing some school work here and uh, I wanted to introduce you to these wonderful miniature donkeys that we're fortunate to have in our school. Um, 
Their names are Hody and Mars, and they're the sweetest things. But anyway, it's back to painting again and um, revisiting the same things that I was doing before. Instead of circular, that's fine. He's gonna have a special glass. So, um, but hey, you live and you learn, right?
So here is Ash in my art chair. Hello, Ash. Ash is our class cat, and he's with me during the the uh, winter break. And he is lovely. The kids absolutely adore him. Um, but he's here. Yes, baby. Yes. Anyway, um. Oh, here is the basket that I made. I put some of my Prisma colors, um, but this is the basket that I was doing with my students and it came out pretty nice. Um, it's solid. It's made out of um, pine needles from the woods in, at our school. And let's go around here. Um, here is the final piece. Actually, it really is not the final because I am going to change the purple, um, that violet uh, spacing between the two pieces of artwork. I don't like it. I, I think I'm gonna go back to a darker color. And um, I do need to finish, let me just get closer. I do need to finish um, here by the finger. Uh, there's, let me see if I can get my finger somewhere. Oh, I can't. Uh, here, okay. Um, I need to finish this finger here, and I need to finish a finger here. Um, and yeah, and change this. I do not like the purple at all. And um, I might work on the fabric a little bit more but for now um, this is it and let me just give you a closer look as you can see there's a whole bunch of texture from a previous painting but I actually like that um, so <clears throat> Ash is still here I think he's gonna leave now are you going here he goes but um, I worked uh, some more on the painting I made the purple area brown. I like it much better this way. And I also worked a little bit on the dress, but this is the finished product. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next time, bye.